Why is that only high-ranking politicians get to ride in the armored limos which can survive a nuclear blast? Turns out that is not the case, and there was plenty of private companies and independent workshops that build impressive SUVs, trucks and vans that, when need be, will protect their occupants from a barrage of bullets, grenades and fist-hammering zombies. Today we're going to show you some of the most interesting models in the commercial armored vehicles class, so subscribe to Automotive Terror 2 Daily News and let's start the engines! Range Rover Sentinel Rather than lose money and let custom workshops modify their SUVs, Land Rover chose to jump into the armoring business and released a factory-made version of the Range Rover autobiography with protective equipment. The occupants of the vehicle are safeguarded by a steel-plated six-piece armored passenger cell able to withstand the penetration by 762mm high-velocity armor-piercing bullets, lateral blast of up to 33 pounds or 15 kilos of TNT, an explosion of TM-51 grenade beneath the floor and above the roof. Moreover, the multi-laminated armored glass ensures privacy and bullet protection on par with steel. In case of an attack, the Sentinel should not only protect the passengers, but also be able to complete a fast getaway, and this is where the 335 horsepower supercharged 3.0 liter V6 comes in, linked to a specially calibrated 8-speed automatic transmission. In case you want to watch more down-to-earth videos about mass-produced cars, consider visiting the playlist, which will be featured in the description. Let's continue! Carlman King The most expensive SUV on today's market reigns over the competition with an imposing name King. The designer's team from Europe was inspired by the Lockheed Martin Nighthawk-style fighter and transitioned the angular shape onto the body. The beast was built on top of the Ford F550 4x4 commercial cab chassis and powered by a massive 6.8-liter V10, with boosted to 396 horsepower output. Such solid base was required due to the 5 tons mass, result of the heavy armoring and customization features. The interior is bespoke, but the pre-designed package comprises of two rear seats, with plenty of space and thanks the likes of 40-inch 4K TV, PlayStation 4 and Coffee Maker. Only 12 units of the Carlman King will be built. Probably the company doesn't count on finding more than a dozen deep pockets ready to pay $2.2 million for this fortress on wheels. Sandcat Pleasant is a unique non-public company owned by 100 families from the communal village in Israel, which also has production facilities in the US and France, and specializes in manufacturing of vehicle armor systems, lightweight tactical trucks, and armored personnel carriers for the widest array of tasks. Among their best-selling vehicles is the Sandcat, which was thoroughly updated in 2018 and serves as a versatile platform for reconnaissance, border patrol, police and even military operations. It is built on the Ford F550 chassis and brought to life by a 6.7-liter power stroke diesel coupled to a 6-speed automatic transmission. The armoring composition has not been disclosed, but includes steel, aluminum, composite, ceramic and Kevlar elements, which do save lives. Mercedes-Benz G63 from Encas This armored off-roader by Encas is the company's take on how to make a car exceptionally safe and secure, yet comfortable and stylish. The vehicle is built on the extended platform of the 2018 Mercedes-Benz G63 MG, and it offers the highest armor level by the international standards BR7. The armor plating and bulletproof glass can withstand the fire of NATO 762 rounds an explosion of two DM-51 hand grenades, and the 563 horsepower V8 with all-wheel drive and run-flat tires will easily get you out of danger. In addition, there are thermal and infrared cameras for perimeter surveillance. The interior of this Incas is just as impressive, featuring Alcantara upholstery, captain seats with massage function, motorized bar and 4K TV.
Razvani Tank You're probably familiar with Razvani for their miniature supercars with astounding power-to-weight ratio. But they're actively trying to expand their portfolio by offering an extreme utility vehicle with an intimidating name Tank. The underpinnings of this SUV come from the Jeep Wrangler, but this is probably all that is left from the mass market of rotor. The Razvani Tank is powered by a Dacia CRT sourced 6.4-liter V8 with on-demand four-wheel drive, 500 horsepower and 430 pound-feet of torque. Moreover, a Hellcat V8 powertrain is also optional and it boosts the output to 707 horses. Depending on the modification, this tactical urban vehicle offers P6 or B7 ballistic armor in the form of hardened glass, Kevlar body panels, Kevlar fuel tank, underside protection and additional survival hardware. Cadillac Escalade ESV from Becker Automotive Design Since the Escalade is among the favored platforms of American armors when it comes to building discrete vehicles with luxury interiors, the world-famous Becker Automotive Design works with this platform as well. The interior of the Escalade is made with the highest quality materials, the seats integrate a massager and are heated and cooled. Plus, there is a superior entertainment system with 40-inch 4K LCD screen. However, if the Scatty excels in luxury, it somewhat lacks on the protection side. The frame and the powertrain can support the installation of the B4 level of armoring, which will only stop a 9mm bullet and lower caliber guns. On the bright side though, it also has standard fuel tank and underhood protection and several optional modifications, such as a raised roof and 20-inch stretched body. Alpha Titan The special edition Mercedes-Benz G500 4x4 squared is rightfully considered one of the most imposing, luxurious and off-road ready vehicles ever created by the manufacturer. However, if you have an extra million in your pocket and crave a bigger, safer and stronger vehicle, the German aftermarket tuner Alpha Armoring has the ultimate model for you. The Titan is almost 24 inches longer than the regular G500, accommodating six passengers and three rows of seats. It is also equipped with full-body armor, shockproof windows and run-flat tires, offering the highest level of ballistic protection. As a result, the Titan weighs almost 9,000 pounds and requires a 500 horsepower V8 from Brabus to be fast enough for a quick getaway. Toyo Ferret This is a hybrid between a tank and an ATV, based on the Ferret Scout reconnaissance vehicle that was heavily revised by Action Vehicles Engineering and Toyo Tires. Along with a new name, the 1959 model receives much improved off-road capabilities and stronger powertrain. It keeps the same armored body but boasts enhanced chassis with king shocks and plenty of ground clearance, plus six new wheels wrapped in 39-inch Toyo tires, with the middle ones being hydraulically driven. Instead of the old 130 horsepower engine from Rolls-Royce, the Toyo Ferret comes equipped with a more powerful Chevrolet LS V8. In addition, it is now capable to pull itself out of a ditch using its power takeoff winch and a custom-built grappling hook launcher. Sprinter Van from Incas Defined by the company as the limo bus, Inca Sprinter Van combines the practicality of a bus and the luxury of the richest limo. Taking the Mercedes Sprinter as a starting point, Incas offers full interior and exterior customization with BR6 level bulletproofing and armoring. The cabin of the redesigned van accommodates up to seven passengers with exceptional comfort and features VIP interior with leather upholstery and wood finish, 
captain-style seats, premium audio and video systems, and two cool boxes. There is also an option of installing a washroom. The vehicle upgrade is done without noticeable changes to its appearance, so it can be used without drawing any attention. Were you impressed with these tanks on wheels? Share your excitement in the comments below and let us know about your favorite model. Do not leave before you watch a couple more episodes on our channel and subscribe not to miss the upcoming releases. You've been watching Automotive Territory Daily News. Come back soon!